Good morning, everyone. It's Kathy. How are you today? I have um, another salad in this series of, uh, this will be the third of easy salads to use for a holiday or any day, a lunch, dinner, whatever. Um, the first two were coleslaw and tricolored pasta, um, which was mixed with fresh vegetables. And this one is going to be a Caesar salad. Uh, you're thinking Caesar salad, anybody can make that. Yeah, you can, but a lot of times people don't think of it right away. Um, you think of a tossed salad, a house salad, um, but much of the time uh, Caesar salad sounds like a specialty salad. It really isn't, but um, I know when um, ever I've gone out to eat with my sister and brother-in-law, his choice is a Caesar salad. Today, I'm going to um, make a Caesar salad with chicken. Uh, it happens to be some chicken that I had left over from last night's dinner. Um, I took some um, chicken and marinated it in Italian dressing. And it, I just stuck it back in the refrigerator for about three hours. And then put it in the pan with a little bit of butter and a little bit of oil. And cooked it uh, slow. And uh, it was very good. It was very tender. So uh, we did have some left over, and I'm going to put that into the salad so we have some protein. Um, and with the Parmesan cheese, which is protein, but uh, chicken is, makes it nice and filling. This bowl I've had for 57 years. Yeah. It was either a shower present or a wedding present. And it came with tongs that I have no idea what happened with them. But we're still regularly using this salad bowl. Uh, and when you think back about it, how much could you possibly have after all those many years? I do have Tupperware, like I said before, which is not that old, and Corel, which is that old. Um, these. Um, Pyrex with the um, the blue flower on it. I have a few of those, but that's about it. As far as things you can use in the kitchen. Okay, so I have romaine lettuce. As I said before, I have some chicken. I have croutons. I have ranch croutons, but doesn't matter to me. Shredded Parmesan. Store brand. And bold Caesar. Caesar can be very strong if you if you overdo it. So what we're gonna do is first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna cut up our chicken. Put the chicken here. Move our bowl over. Cut up our chicken in bite-sized pieces. I was setting this up a little bit earlier and went into the refrigerator for, I said, oh, I got everything I need. I went to get the Parmesan cheese and I guess it sat there a little bit too long. It wasn't looking too great. So I knew I had to go to the pharmacy anyway, so I said, I'll go to Hannaford, which is only a few miles down the road, and I will get my Parmesan cheese. Uh, the weather's really nice. There wasn't too much traffic out, but um, it was kind of a quick, other than having to wait for the prescription, it was a quick in and out. So I'll put my chicken back on the plate. Remove my cutting board. Uh, rinse off my knife that I'm going to use for my romaine. And start 
chopping. I know everybody says you shouldn't chop lettuce, you should tear it, but Romaine I think is designed to chop. And this was a package of romaine that had um, a three count of um, romaine hearts. But I think without pushing it down, I'm getting, I think, enough out of one. And I'm going to add my chicken. The chicken, like I said, it's been seasoned. It was seasoned when I cooked it yesterday. And then your Parmesan cheese. This is shreds, but you can also get it like chipped. And chipped is, is actually the best. But um, I went into a Hannaford and they didn't, uh, this is what they had other than um, grated, and I didn't want grated. I'm not measuring this, I'm just going to I'm a cheese lover, so I'm going to end up putting a lot of cheese in here. Uh, this bag is 10 ounces. Conveniently shredded, robust flavor, ideal for salads or melt on pizza. So I've used probably oh, four ounces. zip this up here because if I don't and I don't get it put right away Brady the golden doodle will eat it he'll eat anything and put on love croutons. Who doesn't love croutons? Now, the last ingredient is your dressing. I'm not going to put it on there because it's not going to be eaten right away and I don't want it to wilt what I have in the bowl. So I'm going to leave that everything just the way it is until it's time to mix it up and eat it. So that's it. Your ingredients are romaine, croutons, chicken if you want to put some in, shredded parmesan, And your dressing. And you've got a really nice salad there. Uh, this will be it, of course, for uh, before the 4th of July. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you give me a thumbs up. Um, like I said, these aren't salads that uh, you need to, are hard to make or you need a ton of ingredients, but sometimes that's the easiest ones to make. Um, Brady is wanting to come in, and I'll let him come in in just a minute. There's one more thing I want to show you. I want to get everything away from the table before I do. I have, uh, in one of my gardens, I have a lot of lavender. Now, when lavender gets really big and it starts to uh, fall over in its own weight, you cut it, wrap a couple of rubber bands around it, turn it upside down, and hang it until it dries. And then when it dries, all you got to do is put your fingers together like this, and you've got tons of lavender to put as a sachet in a bowl or um, a nylon bag, and it's really nice. This one's for my daughter. I um, asked her the other day. She'd like some lavender, and she said, oh, yes. 
So we're going to save this for her. Now I'm going to let Brady in to say hello. Come on in. Come over here. Come over here. Stay away from the dish and come over here. Do you want a crouton? Come over here. Look what I have for you. Look. Come here. Come up here. Let me move the camera so that they can see you. for you. Look, it's right here. Here. Are you snubbing your nose up at a crouton? You probably smell the chicken, huh? Here, I'll give you one of your own treats. I know you won't snub your nose at that, but don't you even look at that table. You know it's good for you. Come on in here and I will give this to you. Turn around. Come over here. Come over here. Sit down. You know the drill. Well, you really shouldn't put your back to the people. Here. Right here. Sit. Come over here and sit. All right. All right. You're getting confused. I know. I don't blame you. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. Hit the road. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate, like I said, you being here. Please give me a thumbs up. And I hope that uh, any one or all three of these salads uh, are something that you're going to give a try. Something that's easy and doesn't make your... your holiday or your any day of the week too difficult. Have a good day and be kind to one another. It doesn't cost anything. Bye now. Happy Fourth of July.